What's up everybody, it's your boy JP. Today, I'm doing a couple of overviews on smartwatches. Uh, right here, this is the new Snapdragon Wear 3100 powered. That's right, Snapdragon Wear 3100 powered Fossil Sport. There's many different names for this watch. Um, some consider it a, uh, the Fossil Q 4th Gen. But it was never officially tagged as that. And if you go on Fossil's website, it's extremely confusing. But last time I checked, they were sold out of it anyway. I don't know if that's changed. Um, but I've actually had this for a couple of weeks. Um, it's always, you know, it, it's it, it's always just called the Snap, the, the Fossil Sport. So that's what we're going to refer to it as. Despite some of the material saying Fossil Q, I'm not entirely sure. I didn't even realize Fossil had so many Wear OS smartwatches through the years. When they first started coming out with their smartwatches, you know, they were Intel powered when everyone else was still using the Snapdragon 400s, which I did think was unique, but I never did get one. Um, I know that the first couple of generations weren't that great. There were some flops, but they've gotten astronomically better, and they are ac actually extremely popular now. And um, I have to say, uh, I've been very impressed with the with the Fossil Sport. It's it's awesome. Um, I do want to talk about my color combination here, right quick. I opted for the red forty one millimeter. There's also the forty three millimeter. Reason why I like the 41 millimeter is because the bezels are thinner. Now, I got the red. I love, love the red. Reminiscent of a red iPhone XR. Of course, mine is white. I do want a red one, though. Uh, your red OnePlus phones, I've had several of those. On a side note, I do have the McLaren edition coming in Monday or Tuesday. Hopefully Monday, but I think it's going to be Tuesday. Um, of course, that's speed orange, they call it. But I have always had a lot of the, uh, you know, the the red One Pluses previously, like the uh, the One Plus Six, the One Plus Five T, and the One Plus Five. I also had a red One Plus Three T as well, uh, you know, through the past couple of years. I've had a couple of other red phones. Uh, I am digging the Honor Eight X that Jay Will has up. And that thing is beautiful. If the Honor Eight X comes to the U.S., I'm hoping it comes with the red color. I know with the Honor 7X, they didn't bring the red out until a couple months later. But nonetheless, we're talking about smartwatch today. Now, the problem with the red one that I didn't realize when ordering is the band that comes with it is definitely not red. Now, the buckle is, and it's beautiful. But that band is pink. And I don't mean a pink that a man can wear. That is like a hot pink. So, yeah, no. Uh, when I got this watch, I couldn't wear it immediately. I ended up going on eBay. The 41 millimeter Fossil Sport takes 18 millimeter bands. And I almost ordered a black band. And I didn't even have the watch with me. But something told me to order the white one. Forgetting that the housing around the red is white. I didn't even think of that, but I just liked the white band. So I ordered it. Came in a couple days later, and I was very satisfied with it. Very satisfied. I love the way that white matches. That band is not a fossil band. It's just some no-name that I got off of eBay for like 12 or 13 bucks. And it matches the white housing around the red perfectly. I mean, it, 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 you would think it came like that. I actually got this watch just before Thanksgiving or just after? I can't remember. It's been a while. I do, I'm just not doing a video on it. But, of course, you know, I do want to clarify because I, I, I read a complaint on one of my other videos. My videos are just overviews. I don't go into a lot of details as far as the, uh, the devices themselves, showing you the gameplay and the apps and the benchmarks and stuff like that. I do talk about them because I know about them. Um... I am into the technical things of these devices, but there's plenty of other videos that that, that are more extensive and, and go over that. That's why my videos are often just labeled as quick overviews, because that's what they are. I'm just going to quickly go over the contents. So I just want to, you know, clear that out there. Now, with that said, 
These are the contents. That's your charging cradle. And it, it is magnetic and it connects really fast. And it is one of the most reliable smartwatch magnet chargers I've ever seen. It is it, it's it charges every time. It's very reliable. It snaps on. It's quick, uh, and, and it's it is awesome. It does feature uh, Fossil's um, fast charge technology. I'm not exactly sure what 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 it ensues, but it does work really great, and it charges very fast. Um, the other contents, the box, and your little manuals, and and, and your uh, your little guide to the to the heart rate tracking, and uh, it does have GPS. And, uh, it, 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 you know, it, it runs, you know, very good. I mean, I've, I've, I've been very impressed with it. It, uh, the GPS works amazingly. Uh, it does have NFC. Um, let me, while I'm talking about that, I do want to, yeah, yeah, it does. Yep. It does. It does. There's your, um, your Google pay shortcut on the, uh, the shade there at the, at the, Sometimes I get ahead of myself and I have to make sure because there's so many that don't have NFC. The one gripe I have about this watch is that it doesn't have a speaker. It has the mic. You can talk to it. You can use the Google Assistant. It, it, it hears you. It understands you. It works great. It just doesn't talk back. Uh, so you can't answer phone calls either. Not a deal breaker to me. But I do have friends where not having a speaker is a deal breaker. I have friends where NFC you know, the exclusion of that is a deal breaker. This does have NFC though, and it does have on device GPS. It's not built into the band. You can you can you can change out the bands. They do have the little quick releases, which you know are super convenient. Um the next video that I'm gonna do is on the new Honor Watch Magic, which is just Honor's version of the Huawei Watch GT. I actually just got it in today on a Sunday. I wasn't supposed to get it until tomorrow. The seller didn't even didn't even send it with Sunday delivery, but I guess USPS is is delivering every day of the week as possible as we get closer to Christmas. So um, I'm hoping my OnePlus 6T McLaren comes early via FedEx tomorrow. But um, I will, of course, have a video up for that as well. But y'all stay tuned. I got one coming up for the Honor Watch Magic here very shortly. I do want to turn this around right quick here. I do want to go over one other thing with this watch. I love how the magnetic strip for the charger it goes all the way around the watch. I mean, they 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 made this very beautifully. Kind of, I it, I know it's not like the Apple Watch Series Four, and I don't have one to compare to, but. You know, the Series 4 Apple Watch, they drastically changed the back design as opposed to the to the uh, the uh, the last four. And, uh, you know, because the, there was four other ones. You had the Series 0, then the next year you had the Series 2 and the Series 1, and then they had the Series 3. And then, of course, the Series 4 that came out back in September. And the back on those were, were drastically redesigned. Um, I'm not sure if it was done for the charger, but this was done for the charger. I just thought that was really nice. Another thing I, now this is something, something I do love about this watch. Let me show you this. The only Wear OS watch, the only other watch I know that does this is the, is the new, um, LG W7. Um, Wear OS 2.0 added the, the scroll, the scrolling wheel, like the Apple watches do. But of course, the watch has to actually have the hardware to do so. This has it, and so does the LG W7. But the LG W7 um, is only snap is only powered by the Snapdragon 2100. But it does have a nice design, and the price has been knocked in half because it was just a total flop. But it is a nice watch. I still think this is a better deal unless you need something more rugged, though. But let me show you what I'm talking about here right quick. See if I can do it while holding this phone here. Sorry for the, sorry if I shake sometimes when I do this, y'all. Um, there's no particular reason. I try to keep it steady, but I use another phone to record, and I have this other hand available. But uh, let me show you here. Let's see. I'm not sure. Okay, well, for whatever reason... I'm not able to, I don't know if it has to be connected to the phone. That would be weird. 
Well, I want to try to Huh. I'm I'm not sure. I'm just going to do a restart. And I'm going to see if it works then. Sorry about that, y'all. I didn't... If I would have known I was going to run into that problem, I would have never even got into it. I would have just mentioned it and been done with it. But that is something I want to show. I did notice when I first got this watch that that feature didn't work until I updated it. And this is due for another update. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But the first update, the scrolling work, it, it worked. And it's been working since. But I've been using my Honor Watch Magic all day today. I haven't had this on, so I'm not sure what was going on there. But um, I'm going to try here. I'm going to try it again. I'm not going to make a whole video about it if it, if it doesn't. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but just take my word for it. It's it's pretty awesome. I'm sure you can find other videos of it. I'm not sure why it's even taking a while to boot up there. I'm just trying to... I guess I need to... I guess I need to do that update. Only thing I could really think of to do. Okay, y'all. Well, you know what? I'm not going to keep this video going for it to load. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I'll just have to do another video about it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it goes. There it goes. I guess I need to update it. That, that's the only thing I can think of. Is it normally doesn't even take that long to uh, to boot. And this watch is extremely quick. I mean, you wouldn't know by my video. Okay, well, I, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Maybe it has to be connected. All right, well, that was a flop. Uh, if I can get it working, I will do another video on it. But again, I'm sure there's other videos that show it. It works really good. I'm probably just doing something wrong here, y'all, because um, I'm just rushing through this because I want to show you the Honor Watch Magic as well. So um, I'll see y'all in that video.